Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Yates, and we're going to take a look at long division in a short video. Let's see what's going on with long division problems like 67 divided by 4. This is pretty common and something similar to what you'll see on the back of the spiral review for today. And it's not a terribly challenging long division problem, but let's make it even easier. Let's pretend that we're just looking at a problem like 6 divided by 4. Now we did some problems similar to this, maybe with two-digit numbers, but um, they were very easy because we could say something like uh, how many 4s are in a 6? Well, we knew that there was 1. And we could say that 1 times 4 is 4, and that's how we knew that there was one 4 in a 6 because 2 4s or 2 times 4 was 8. That's too much, but we only have 6. And then what we would do is we would subtract to find out that, hmm, we have two left over. So if I had six math cookies, we always use cookies in math, and four kids, everyone's going to get one cookie so that we split them up equally, and there are going to be two left. There's a catch here, though. This is not the end of this particular problem. If I slide over a little bit here, you'll notice that we've got a 7. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring that 7 down here next to the 2, and we're going to start all over with a new division problem. We're going to think about the division problem 27 divided by 4. All right, well, let me think about my four times tables. Uh, let's see, four times five equals 20. So are there five fours in 27? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I wonder if there are six. Let's find out. Well, four times six equals 24. Um, all right, yeah, there's six fours in 27 there. Um, I wonder if there are seven. Well, let me think about my four times tables. Four times seven. Well, that equals, um, help me out, everybody. Oh, yeah, 28. That's right. Uh, too much, 28. I don't want to go over this number here, right? So I don't have seven fours in 27 there. So I'm going to have to deal with the six. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this six up here above the seven, right? And I'm going to think about uh, those times tables again. Six times four is 24, right? and I'm going to subtract to find out how much I might have left over because, uh, you know, we want to see if there's going to be any sort of remainder or anything like that. So let's subtract, and it looks like 27 minus 24 is 3. Now, of course, if I slid my little shade over more to reveal another number, I might bring that down, but as you can see, we've got nothing left over there, and so move that out of the way, and I'm done with this problem, mostly. Now notice that I've got a 3 down here. Well, that's our remainder, and in division problems, what you want to do is you want to write that remainder up top near the quotient with a, a, either a small r or a capital R, and the remainder itself there. So the answer to this problem is 16 remainder 3. Now, how do I know that that's really the answer? Well, I could check it. You always know we're supposed to check our work, right? Well, let's try checking our work over here. What if I did 16 times 4? Okay. That's going to be 4 times 6, that's 24, 4, and 2, 4 times 1 is 4. Add the 2, I have 6, and that's 64. Hey, wait a minute. 64, that's not 67. Oh, the remainder. I better add that. So let me add the 3 to the 64 to make 67. Hey, that's great. Okay, so it checks. Put a check there. Woo, all right. I did it well. Now, what are some ways to help remember doing a problem like this? Well, let's take a look at that problem one more time. And we're going to use um, our little car sticker family here. The first thing we were going to do is say, um, can we have 6 divided by 4, right? Well, that's division. So we think of dad, right? There's dad, and we're going to divide. Right? So 6 divided by 4, well, that's just 1, right? because we know that 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 4 would be 8, so we have to stay under 6, 1 times 4. Hey, wait a minute, 1 times 4, that sounds like multiplication. That's mom. There's mom. Hi, mom. 
you're helping me multiply, right? So we did division, 6 divided by 4. We think that's 1. We're checking by multiplying with mom, dad, mom. And yep, 1 times 4 is certainly 4. I'm going to write it down here because the next step is to subtract. And who's going to help us subtract? Well, that's going to be our sister. All right, so our sister's going to help us subtract. And of course, when we subtract, what do we get? Yes, 6 minus 4 is 2. What else am I going to do here? Well, I've got that 7 to do something with. I want to bring it down. And how am I going to know to bring it down? My brother is going to remind me. Dad, mom, sister, brother. B for brother, B for bring down. And there he is. And I bring down that 7. And what do I have to do? I have to start over. Who's going to remind me to start over? Well, Rover will help me start over. Hey, Rover. Woof, woof. He's going to help me start over over. And starting over means repeat the process. So 27 divided by 4, hey dad, divided by 4 is going to be what? 6. Because we know that 6 times 4 multiply, hey mom, goes here because sister is going to help us subtract, right, to get 3. Right? And brother's trying to tell us, bring down, bring down, but hey, wait a minute, there's nothing to bring down. So, ruff, ruff. Rover says, remainder. There's nothing to bring down, so we put our remainder of three right there. So, dad, mom, sister, brother helps us to divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down, and have a remainder, or repeat the whole process. Okay, let's take a look at a different problem, something like maybe uh, 85 divided by five. Now, this is a problem that's on the back of your spiral review paper, so um, I can help you along with this. Now, there's one other thing I'd like to mention here, um, and it is this foreign word in mathematics. It's called Dazinta. We learned some Chinese words last week for Chinese New Year, but what about Gazinta? Is that some mathematical word from Asia? No, no, no. It's slang for goes into. Okay, And you might hear some people say that when they do the division or the dad part of a long division problem. They might say five gazinta eight how many times? Well, they're just asking about the division. How many fives are there in eight? One. Because we know that one times five is five. Okay, mom, multiply. We're going to subtract sister. Sister, subtract. And of course, that gives us a three. Brother's going to remind us to bring down that five. Bring down. And Rover woof, woof, is going to tell us to repeat the process because we've got a new division problem here. So let's see what that's going to be like. We've got 35 divided by five. Hey, Dad. All right, 35 divided by 5, of course, is 7. Oh, this one might be easy. 7 times 5. That sounds like multiply. Mom, 7 times 5 multiply is 35. And that's going to go down here because sister is going to help us subtract. Right? So we did dad divide, mom multiply, sister subtract. And what do we get when we subtract? 35 minus 35, of course, is 0. Now we'll ask our brother if we have to bring anything down. And he's going to say, yeah, there's nothing to bring down. We're, I think we're done. Let's ask Rover about it. Woof, woof. And Rover says, yes, we don't have to repeat. We have a remainder of 0. Now, do you write R0, remainder 0 up there? No. We say that 5 went into... 85, 17 times, or 85 is divisible evenly by 5. I know the word is evenly, and 17 is an odd number. It's a strange thing, but people say that when there's no remainder. Okay, 17 times 5 is 85. And of course, you could check it by coming over to the side of your paper and doing 17 times 5. Have to do 5 times 7, 35. Boom, boom. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. Yes, I got it. Check. All right, well, that's a quick long division 
demonstration for you. I hope you enjoyed it, boys and girls, and we'll see you tomorrow for some more Long Division. Remember, you can always ask dad, mom, sister, or brother, or maybe even the dog, to help you out.